I'm Jim Preston and I'd like to show you the horse thief trails. So we have Highway 313 here and this is coming up from 191. Here's Navajo Rocks here. Come back up this way we see uh, Getaway and Bull Run. This is our Mag 7 area here and they've recently put in this really nice little system of trails here called Horse Thief. And there's also a new one here coming comes out this way called Rodeo. So come up through um come up here and also knows chisholm over here don't forget chisholm uh what i like to do is i, I park down in navajo rocks and i'll either come up here or come up seven up and up this way and then down chisholm or drive, take the road all the way up to here and then or just to here if i'm lazy if there's a lot of wind and uh one or the other and then catch chisholm and come all the way back down here into, into navajo rocks there's a lot of different permutations here so let's get into them, and I'll explain Chisholm first. It, I think that's a really fantastic trail. Now, it shows it going kind of downhill-ish here, but it's it's pretty gentle downhill. And, you, you know, you can climb it like very easy. People climb it all the time. I like to loop things. So I like to either come over here to 7-Up and, and around or up the highway or whatever, and then come down this. So I loop it. Uh, but there's, you know, there's, there's some ledgy stuff. There's a few, uh, you know, I would say interesting, um, you know, creek crossings or dry wash crossings usually. And you, you, you make those right in here and over here, something like that. There's some sand out here, which uh, it becomes a little unfortunate, uh, but it's not bad. Uh, and there's, uh, th there's ledges through here, and they're all nicely ramped. So really, any, I would say, mid-intermediate and above should be able to ride everything through here without any problem. If you're an advanced rider, this is a nice, lazy, fun, swoopy, flowy type trail coming through here. So there's something here for everybody on Chisholm. I think it's one of the finest trails they've got. Uh, just love it. So let's take a look over here. We've got, uh, in this area, we've, we've got a trail a trailhead here, okay? This is a, a mineral bottom road, which goes out to the... Um, um, goes out to the Colorado River. It's like the end of the White Rim Loop is this this access road, and you could also go up here to this is actually the official horse thief uh, trailhead. So you can start here and uh, cruise down this way, and it's all pretty much the same. It's it's basically mesa type riding. Uh, so you've got some ledges, you got a little slick rock, you've got a little this and that, and then take off down there or you can come park here. There's a trailhead here. And you can park here, or if you're staying at the campground, and then catch, like, Rodeo out here. Rodeo is the latest addition as of this recording. And although there is rumor that there's going to be one from over here somewhere to Dead Horse Point. So take Rodeo out and do this route. And it's just a really nice loop. It's kind of popular now because it's new and exciting. And, you know, those are always nice. Uh, but the terrain is pretty similar to a lot of other places. I wouldn't say it's any more technical than any place else around here. So it's uh, I recommend rodeo for sure. Take that take that loop. It just gives you a nice one trailhead, nice loop kind of thing, an evening ten mile ride, uh, and that'll do it. Now if you get over here, you park here, let's say, and come down here, ride Mustang loop around. Not. Really, not a lot to say about Mustang Loop. It's just, again, it's a nice, a nice evening ride area over here. It wouldn't make it your big day ride, your big epic, but um, it's certainly nice to spin it out. Or if you've got, you know, you're not sure of this terrain or in the area, you haven't been into the rocks that much, then there's a little bit of technical through here. But as you can see, it's all, it's all very intermediate all over the place. But, you know, except Wrangler. This is for kids right here by the campground. The... Um, you get you can get you can drop down into here. These climbs aren't bad. Actually, I don't think I've done that. I don't remember doing this one, but uh, these aren't these aren't bad at all. Uh, and you can ride along. This is uh, some single track in here. Seven up over here is a jeep road, and down here by Navajo Rocks, there's an ugly sand pit when you drop onto it. Uh, but the rest of this is just riding a jeep road. There's some ledges and so forth. It, it's okay. It's not a bad thing. It's, I'm not wild about jeep roads, but it, it's fine. But this area here, this climb, 
is just fine. This one here, just fine also. It's not brutal in any way. So don't be afraid to drop down into here and then come back out because it's it's not a difficult climb for mountain bikers anyway. If you have some experience for intermediates, uh, I wouldn't take a beginner maybe down into this area. But must you know if you're going to introduce somebody to mountain biking and they've been on a bicycle, they've been riding some trails somewhere, uh, then you know Mustang Loop is a is a good uh, starter one. Uh, also, we'll stick to the brand trails mostly, but. Uh, this one here will work out quite fine and then maybe over to rodeo something like that Navajo rocks tends to be a little bit more technical so uh, you know that would be the next step up or over here on getaway go up just up and down getaway is a, a great time but you don't want to miss this either so that's uh, that's the horse thief trails uh, there's not a lot there but uh, it's certainly some sweet riding and uh, maybe I'll see you out there someday